All right, looks like we're on. Uh, this is my first time uh, streaming to YouTube, so be gentle with me. <laughs> hey, uh, Poopatar, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, glad, glad to see you there, and uh, you know, joining in with the stream. Okay, so this is, like I said, the first time I'm going to be uh, probably fumbling a little bit as I'm trying to figure all this out and seeing what all kinds of uh, stats and things I have available to me and uh, stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, I'm Engineer Hoist, and we're here in Transformers Earth Wars to look at the new factions feature. And uh, I will be posting this video after we're done uh, streaming here so if you happen to miss anything you can always go back and watch it back uh, I hope the uh, sound is coming through um, I haven't figured out apparently how to also hear the sound back on my end uh, but uh, I'm seeing the bars you know jumping around like <laughs> like it's picking it up so hopefully you guys are hearing what I'm saying um, so here we are with my Autobot base and uh, going to be looking at the factions like I said and uh, that's the uh, notification that I have up here uh, it's saying to obtain 5,000 medals that's one I haven't quite done yet but the way that we go with the factions is it comes through as a notification for you once you hit headquarters level 8 now I hit headquarters level 8 long ago so it, like like many players out there so that you should have seen already the notification in there and in fact you've probably already grabbed it and gone and claimed your crystals but for anybody who hasn't quite hit headquarters 8 this is what you can be looking forward to a chance to fight with the opposing faction since I'm on an Autobots account uh, that means there's going to be uh, I get a chance to do the Decepticons. Now, obviously, I also have a pretty strong Decepticon account, and for anybody who chose that side, they'll get a chance to fight with the Autobots. And uh, so, again, you get to look at the headquarters. And, hey, Red Alert, good to see you, man. Uh, still with that moist thing. Ah, oh, face palm. <laughs> but uh, so I'm going to go ahead and claim this uh, achievement here, and let's see what it does for us. It gives me four Decepticon crystals. And so obviously for the Decepticons you get four Autobot crystals. So I'm going to go ahead and go use those. Now for these first four, there, there's there's really no chance to them. You know you're getting this. Everybody gets the same four to begin with. It's going to be two star Megatron first, and there he is. Comes through, evil as always. This this is a great great look of uh, Megatron based on the uh, Combiner Wars leader class toy. Not the best leader, leader class Megatron toy out there, but it makes for a good bot in the game. Now this next one is, I want to say it's Starscream. Yep, okay, so that one's Starscream. And uh, he's actually a very good flyer, one of the best ones, especially if you can pick him up in uh, a three or a four star. I haven't quite got him at four, th four star on my other account. But his equivalent is Jetfire. Obviously, Megatron's equivalent is going to be Optimus Prime for the other side. Okay, so now, now this next one, I believe, coming through is Bludgeon. And there he is. Makes for a great tank. And this is based on, I believe it was Revenge of the Fallen, or just shortly after the Revenge of the Fallen toy lines. And it is a fantastic toy. In fact, Red Alert over there uh, helped me pick that up at one of the uh, comic shops he works at uh, about a year ago. So uh, th thanks for that, buddy. And uh, Chris got a four-star Storm Clash and three-star Silver Bolt. Man, that's awesome, dude. Storm Clash, a four-star. I would love to see that. Uh, but uh, so, and then, of course, Bludgeon's counterpart for the set of cons, you, you'll be picking up Ironhide. Uh, both of those guys are very strong tanks. And now this last one, to complete the uh, range of possible bots, is Hook the Healer. And, of course, the Decepticons will be picking up Ratchet from their Autobot Crystal. Now, I've never been a big uh, guy on the healing bots, but as I've gotten some of these stronger guys in there, I, they've made their ways into some of my uh, teams, but uh, not not too many, uh, not, not my top teams. Um, so, now, when you're choosing your crystals, when you actually click the Get More, uh, you, uh, you get a choice between Autobots, or Decepticons. Now on the uh, Decepticon account, these will actually be flipped, but you'll still get the choices. You know, going into the Autobot 
side or the Decepticon side if that's what you're playing, you'll see the standard crystal store, if you will, uh, that you're used to seeing where you'll be able to pick up the character specific crystals, premium crystals, your free crystals are there, plus any two, three, four, or five star crystals that you may have uh, saved up enough shards for. Now, if you pick the opposing faction, there are some limitations. So let's go ahead and look at the Decepticons. For example, we don't see those character crystals. Uh, you can purchase premium crystals with coins. Free crystals don't work for the opposing faction, so they're not even here. But any of the shard crystals, whether it be two, three, four, or five stars, you can basically, you can choose whether you want to get an Autobot or a Decepticon from those crystals. Now, obviously, I don't have enough shards uh, to work with uh, to get any of these here, but so that's basically how factions work for how you get the new bots. Uh, and the way you can see them, here's your, uh, you click on the team down there where you normally go through and you flip through and see your team. And so here, here's my current team. I've got uh, pretty... <laughs> We have quite a few. I've spent quite a bit of money on these, but man, it's it's fun. I really love this game. Obviously, I've made uh, dozens and dozens of videos. A couple of new ones I just got. If you saw my uh, uh, video from last week, uh, Hotspot and Hound are actually uh, doing pretty good, and Smokescreen. I've got them almost at 20. I haven't done the event a whole lot this weekend, but I hope to get them uh, at 20 and slightly above 20. Oh, yeah, and one other one that I got. Where is he? Uh, three star star saber over there, man. I was I was so lucky to pull that guy. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about how you go see the opposing factions, and you can probably see it right up here at the top. It, it defaults to looking at your current faction, but if you want to see the other ones that you have, you just tap over here, so we can see. Now it looks basically just the same thing, and I'm looking at now my Decepticons. There's Megatron, Bludgeon, Hook, and Starscream. Now. You can see the same missing in action, and basically all of the Decepticons or Autobots that that are available in the game are available in this factions feature, and you do, and you would get them basically the same way through premium crystals or two, three, four, or five star crystals, just like you would for your uh, main team. Now, what does this mean? Why would you be wanting to do this? Well, first of all, it does add up to the combined power. Uh, for your overall squad. So if you say, say for example, you pick up one of those uh, two-star crystals uh, in an event, uh, it may be able to be used for the opposing faction, um, but uh, actually that, that's that's a good question because you're not actually purchasing it, purchasing it from the store. But it'd be really nice if you could do that because, like for example, I'm all out of two stars. I, I've got all the two stars in the game for the Autobot, but I mean, I sure got a whole lot more open up now for the Decepticons, so that would be helpful. And that that's helpful when you go, go down and you look at your squads, number of squads in your shuttle. See, now I've got enough bots with at a certain enough power to have six squads. And it tells you your squad slot progress. Now, the Decepticons, or the opposing faction that you have, will actually contribute to getting a new new squad. See, I'm still quite a ways away from getting that seventh squad, but I'm slowly making progress. And you know, I just uh, realized I'm totally missing out on this chat here. Uh, so, uh, who else do we got here? Oh, hey, Birdie Ghost and Lunar Fury. Good to see you guys in here. Man Bat Reviews, I, I haven't seen you before, so welcome. And uh, Chris, uh, you wanna join the Alliance? Um, yeah, we actually have a spot. Uh, I'm not sure if you've uh, put in a request. Uh, l let me know what your... Uh, in-game name is and we'll, we'll take a look um so um i think that's about it for factions um although actually let's go ahead and set up one of these squads and you know it's only going to be four four bots i'm not going to mess with my a team uh this is my squad down here that i do all my leveling with i know so i'll just and, and uh i'll just go ahead and take them off i can rebuild that now see I've got some of these guys on here, and see, when you try to select a Decepticon, it says, hey, you, you can't do that because you, we're going to take off any of the existing Autobots. Uh, so, since that'll be, actually, it'll be easier than pulling them all off. So, I'll go ahead and do that. So, now we've got Starscream in there. We'll throw Hook in there. We'll throw Bludgeon in there. And we'll throw Megatron in there. So, <laughs> four one star, one, uh, level one, two star uh, Decepticons isn't going to be uh, uh, much of a. Uh, <laughs> much of a battle uh so hey soldier and uh i'll be looking for that request there chris um 
But let's go through here. Yeah, I haven't done the <laughs> haven't done the uh, event a whole lot. But so let's go ahead and see how well these guys do. And this is what actually one of the nice things about being able to pick your bots first and then go into uh, choosing your squad. See, so I've got a squad of 300. Oh, and it's pretty cool. It changes the color and the faction symbol up there along the top. So let's go ahead and go in there. It says we can do a zone three, but uh, we'll see how that turns out. Oh, then it actually does throw uh, Bruticus on there instead of the Optimus Maximus that we've been seeing. Uh, so let's see how well <laughs> we could do with these uh, these uh, brand new scrubs here. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't look like they've put a whole lot of effort into this base here. Uh, let's go ahead and go through and zoom in on that. And it looks like we do have the, all of the available um, battle boosts that you may have accumulated over time. So, looks like this is going to be a pretty easy base. I might, might actually manage to get through this one since they put those other cannon and laser turret away, ways away. So, yeah. <laughs> Lunar Fury ch checking out who's all here. Yeah, man, I, wow, 28th, man. That, that This is a lot better turnout than I was, uh, I was expecting, man. I'm, I'm really happy to see you guys and support me doing this uh, this stream. This is my first time doing it. I actually had to upgrade all my equipment. Uh, so, because the uh, computer I was working on was a little MacBook Air and it was severely underpowered. I was barely able to record videos as it was. It certainly wasn't handling streaming, but uh, yeah, I did an upgrade and made sure it was meeting all my specs. And uh, <laughs> so here we are. And uh, so far, it's, it's working out pretty good. And we'll be looking at uh, seeing, seeing uh, more streaming in the future once I get a little bit better hang of this. So, cool! First, first Decepticon battle on this is, gives me a victory and gives me nine battle points and gets me 50,000 alloy. Yay! And takes Megatron to level three, and I would imagine everybody else is going to go there too. Yay, Bludgeon! I, I, I always I always love these uh, graphics. You know, ever seeing Deadpool, he's like, yeah, and superhero landing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I can't ever not think that every time I see one of these uh, level ups. And uh, so, I think that's about it for the uh, for the uh, factions feature. Um, so, you know, I'm, I, let's go ahead and go in here and do a few, a few of these, a few more battles uh, with these. I think I'll go through one round of battles. Start here with this my A squad and I battle in zone 11 here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can definitely handle zone three uh, with them. Oh, it looks like Chris saying you do Transformers Earth Wars videos. I'll have to go check that out. I haven't seen seen that yet. So, your volume is down, Soldier. What was? It's like, are you, are you not hearing me? So, all right. So let's see. What do we got to do here? Oh, good. I don't see any level ten. Or 11 mortars. This should, I should be able to handle this unless I make a major mistake. Alright, and they got a laser down too. There goes the other laser. <laughs> go ahead and go get that mortar. Send Grimlock over to this one. Hmm, what else can we do with these guys? Go ahead and send you fire in after that missile launcher. That should take out all of the heavy hitters there. Yep. And let's see, where can Prime get us? Yeah, he can't get us that close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, let's head over. Let's, let's see if we can get everybody around over here. Skip, skip a couple of things. Oh, yeah, so everybody stops short because they have to think they have to go through the wall instead of going around it. Alright, so Grimlock, go get over the, that cannon there. Oh, I get, I get you. Thank, thanks for uh, thanks for the tip there, brother. Yeah, like, like I said, I don't know, uh, when I was first starting, uh, I, I need to set up my uh, sounds here to make sure, because I'm not hearing anything. I'm just basically talking into an empty room right now. <laughs> but, uh, so, hey, that was a good victory there for my A-Squad. And uh, now it's not not the best squad I can put together, but the best squad I can put together, like just about everybody else, would be full of tanks. And, and if anybody's played for a little while, you know that's not the best squad. You need to have a good uh, balance of gunners and and flyers and stuff too. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get in here. 
this is my second team, which is almost as good as my other team because I've actually got a lot more uh, four stars. I got my Strafe there, Sunstreaker, Mirage, Slug, RC. All these guys are all above 40, and uh, they're they're actually actually a pretty good mech blend. So, yeah, yeah, Chris, I'll I'll, I'll get to you, man. I'll, I'll I'll get you in. We got we got room for you. Well, yeah, uh, we need you to be active though, because we're. we're uh, we haven't been doing wars a whole lot uh, lately because I've been super busy with lots of other things I always forget. But uh, we're going to be picking that up and certainly in the Alliance events we definitely need to go do that. Hey there Pony Night Shadow. Uh, three star Optimus Prime and Smokescreen. Oh yeah, man. I, I didn't get that Smokescreen but you know, he's actually done pretty good even at the two star. That, that executes pretty good. Three star Optimus Prime as you saw. He's, he's like the, the tops that I've got. Uh, he, he's an awesome bot. Yeah, bots like uh, Optimus Prime and Grimlock are practically a star level above what it actually says that they are. Uh, so let's see, we'll go ahead and do that, and let's go ahead and drop Strafe right there. Sunstreakers, uh, I didn't put a whole lot of this into, in, put a whole lot of faith in Sunstreaker's ability because it was just based on seconds or whatever, but man, once he hit 40, he's taking out some serious stuff with that, burning it down into nothingness. See, he took out that missile launcher like it was nothing. It just it just doesn't show what kind of damage it does, but it's, trust me, it does some serious damage. And looks like we're getting there. Oh, don't need to see that. Ah, stop. <laughs> so, that was uh, notifications. Uh, yeah, I'm over here on the Space Coast in Florida, and uh, there's a SpaceX launch going up, so uh, I get notifications about that. Um, so hey, there's a uh, another victory for my uh, Autobots there. Mm -hmm. so what else have we got? Jump through these guys. Yeah, you can see what levels these guys are all. They're they're all pretty well over 40. And uh, I know everybody's down on RC and and even Nightbird and stuff like that. Man, when, man, this four, f level 40 RC, she is a serious tank, serious. So, uh, you know, maybe, maybe if you're two or three star, you're not lo looking at it uh, too well uh, on the RC. But uh, give them time, give them time, get them leveled, and it, it will pay off. Okay, so here's here's my here's this team here. This is where I've, I've put my Star Saber up here with this uh, fairly strong team. He, he dies a lot, <laughs> but he does get a lot more XP on this team than he would uh, with a lower team, more uh, suitable to his particular level. So, I'm also trying to get this Firefly up to level 40. Once I get him there, he'll be on my A team, no doubt, supplanting either uh, Jetfire or Stormclash. Okay, so what do we got here? Level 9, 9, 9. Ah, that's too bad. Uh, Firefly can only hit about a level 8 right now, so he's not going to be too helpful for that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop everybody now, here, the world and we'll go through, and once he gets close enough, I'll go ahead and send Star Saber in through here. It'll at least uh, stun everything, and it'll be, it'll be a little bit of a sacrifice, because uh, he's going to die quickly once he's in there in the middle, especially when all three of the Decepticons go over there to beat down on him. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, see, he's gone already. Uh, but I knew that was going to happen. Uh, so what else do we got to do? Okay, let's send uh, Pyromagna over here, get this mortar, take a little bit of fire over there. Oh, good to see that uh, shock tower's out of the way. Oh man, I should have sent her over to the missile launcher. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and freeze that right now. Skyburst gets over there. And uh, didn't quite take it out. But uh, most most of the space is pretty cleared out. There goes the missile launcher. And let's see, we'll shoot shoot over here. I don't I might not need, even need to really take these out, but uh, yeah, we about got this headquarters taken care of. Oh, everybody's doing their job except Windblade, just trying to take out these harvesters. Come on, girl, get in there. All right, good job, Magnus. Ultra Magnus is awesome. I love Ultra Magnus. Oh, let's ch check back at that chat. Oh, hey Blake, yeah, I, I remember you. I, I forget, I forget what your, uh, I forget what your um, in-game name is, but uh, man, that's a pretty good lineup there you got, Chris. 
base five and combiner wars trying to get that combiner lab there pony night shadow yeah that's that combiner wars is actually a pretty pretty tough uh campaign hey you know what uh let's go over here you gotcha boom i got you in and uh i think we guys think we still got a little bit more what do we got yeah we got two more slots here too so uh, I haven't had a chance to go look at those other guys, but I'm taking your word for it in this chat. Don't don't disappoint me. You guys, it's, it's recorded now. Everybody knows that you're here, Chris. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, oh yeah, this squad here is uh, pretty good. Level up that power glide. Uh, I think um, Jazz and Rustos are the only ones over 40 on this one. Um, zone nine can. Th this is a hit and miss. I, I hit and win more more often than not uh, on this zone. But uh, uh, but I, I have have been uh, known to lose a few. But uh, yeah, this Jazz is he, he's he's hitting strong. He's hitting uh, what is it, fourteen hundred uh, with his uh, orbital strike, which is awesome. Uh, I'd love to have a four star Jazz because I picked up a four star Mixmaster and he's been my go to bot over on the uh, Decepticon side. Okay, see now these kinds of bases, you almost want to start on one side and just try to shoot past. But I, I know how it goes. You're going to start there and they're going to try to just follow the line and clean it up before they even head to that base although this would be a good one just to drop sharks <laughs> yeah i might do that let's go ahead and just do that and uh get uh, go ahead and pick a shark attack three who do i want to level up i want to level up power glide so i'm just gonna go ahead and drop him by himself and then drop these sharks over here and uh oh looks like the missile launcher picked them up good thing i've got power glide he's, he's actually uh, gotten pretty strong. I'm not going to be able to take him out right away, but uh, two of these, hopefully I can get him, get that out gone before. Yep, it's gone, and looks like I still got some sharks going up there. Yep, so, so this should actually work out pretty good. So. He's not going to solo the space by himself, but those shark, sharks should be able to take care of that headquarters. But, but yeah, I mean, even power glide, you know, people are down on. But you know, again, you, you level him up, you, you actually get, can get pretty strong. Uh, not not nearly as good as any of the uh, other flying bots, uh, but he's still pretty good. All right, I'm just going to fast forward this, and uh, hopefully my sharks will get there. Yeah, it looks like they're going to. And boom, big time XP there for my good buddy Power Glide. So it's really nice when you can find that headquarters off by itself. Yeah. So. Well done. Yeah. Thanks, Lunar. I do have some uh, pretty good Autobots. Uh, I've uh, paid a pretty penny for them. You know, that, that is one of the, that is one of the tough things about this game. You you can certainly have get a pretty good bait pretty good base and good good amount of bots uh, on a free to play because I have another Autobot account. I've been doing free to play uh, entirely. Uh, with not, I didn't spend a dime on it, although I did use one of the VIP bundles on there, and uh, it's it's taken a lot longer uh, to uh, do well. Um, but uh, you, you, and I have got a handful of uh, three three star bots and a couple of four star bots, so uh, it's uh, you know it, it this is that definitely uh, if you throw some money in it, you, you definitely do a little bit better. But most games are like this nowadays, so it's it's hard to really uh, criticize it, even though people love to. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and go in here one more, and then uh, I think uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and call it quits after this one. But uh, this has been pretty good. I'm I'm uh, glad to see that the uh, streaming is actually working pretty well. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be looking at my setup and seeing how I could uh, improve it. Uh, but I really appreciate uh, the support of all you guys coming out here. Uh, it's, it's you know it's been it's been a good time, and uh, so. Uh, okay, so Prowl's a pretty strong bot. He's about four stars, so I can actually uh, knock out some uh, some of these heavy hitters pretty good. Uh, Bumblebee's a actually uh, it's it's nice, you know, because it doesn't matter what star Bumblebee or Scrapnel is, because you just you throw you throw that in there, it doesn't doesn't cost a whole lot, and it just it just uh, EMPs everything, not knocks it all out. Well, except for the shock tower, but nothing EMPs that. So meanwhile, just. You know, and it doesn't it doesn't hit anybody unless everybody gives everybody a chance to get up there without being hit, and uh, it does actually cause a little bit of damage. So, and 
Let's see. You can send Power Glide over here for the Shock Tower a little bit. He'll do a little bit of damage. That's just a two star, so he doesn't have as much power. Uh, and then Bumble, pretty much the only big threat there was that cannon. And Bumblebee got there to e EMP it. And there we go. That's, that's looking pretty good. All right, so I quit worrying about all that stuff. Just go to the headquarters. Come on, man. Let's see. You can blast or drop his minions. There we go. Go hit that headquarters, guys. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw some, uh, I forget what that's called from Dust Up, like the Grenade Swarm or something. Ah, yeah, Prowl took that out. And I'm impatient. I like using the as much money. If, I, if I've got special abilities up, I'm going to go ahead and use them, <laughs> even though it's uh, definitely well within hand, as we can see here. And it looks like I think everybody survived out of that one, too. Uh, so, yeah, so that, that's, uh, I think that's about all, all we're going to do here. And, uh, so, yeah, definitely, uh, thanks everybody for, uh, for ch checking out the stream, and, uh, yeah, um, let's, let me check, check the chat one last time, uh, let's see, you got Combiner Wars, G2 Superion, oh man, I never did get that G2 Superion, I got the G2, uh, Menasaur, uh, that's really cool, and yes, those perfect effect upgrade sets, uh, if, if nothing else, for those hands and feet, are, uh, basically, it's almost a must-have for those Combiner figures, it makes them so much better and yes definitely check out lunar fury's videos he, he's he's a very strong uh, decepticon and and uh, puts out some uh, good videos uh so uh, uh dona the savage hey man good good to see you sorry uh, you're checking in right here as i'm about to shut down but uh good to see you uh i don't know how this will go back up uh after the fact um but i'm gonna make sure this video is available uh, to be to watch back later at your leisure for you or anybody else and and uh, so I think that's about it uh, you go ahead and um, you can't do the end card on this I don't think but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it anyway uh, you know if, go, if you want to uh, see more videos from me go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel uh, I'll have a playlist uh, if I can get it on the end card it'll be up there otherwise it'll be in the description and uh, definitely check out the Non-Toxic Gamers Band channel and join in on the discussion. Uh, Lunar Fury's there, Bearded Ghost uh, checks in from time to time. There's a, you know, all the Non-Toxic Gamers are down there. Come on, check us out. And um, I'm Engineer Hoist. Keep rolling, my friends. Thanks for watching.